It appears that Andrew T. Scheid has finally surfaced. I've learned from law enforcement sources that investigators have been in contact with Andrew T. Scheid. Now, what he's told them and when he spoke to them at this point is unknown. As we told you last Friday, the State Board of Funeral Directors temporarily suspended Andrew Schein's licenses, saying the allegations against him, if true, make him an immediate and clear danger to public health and safety. A hearing on that temporary suspension will be scheduled within the next 30 days. And a question we're getting from many viewers who had their loved ones cremated through the Andrew T. Scheid Funeral Home. They want to know how they can be sure that the cremated remains they received are, in fact, their loved ones. Well, I'm told by the Pennsylvania Funeral Directors Association that cremated remains should contain a small metal disc that contains the deceased's personal information and the date of the cremation. Verifying the authenticity of the remains within the ashes would require a DNA test, which I'm told can be quite expensive. I'm Brian Roach on your side, News 8.